All right, everyone. So in this video here, I'm going to try something and see how well this works. And basically, one of the issues I've been running into, it's been for a while now, though I did try something different and it did seem to work for the most part. But I still want to have some kind of wired connection coming to the room I'm in. And first and foremost, a little tip for anyone, if you're going to get a place, you know, like buy a place, either get the place fully hardwired for internet, for ethernet, or if you're, say, like buying a new place and it's not done yet, make sure one of the requirements is the builder running ethernet wires throughout the entire house. It's going to make your life completely more, um, it's just going to be better in the long run. So being that I didn't think of that originally, I'm looking at alternatives. I was first looking at just running my own wire. So originally I bought everything. I tried to do it. And then I realized the way the wires were set up and the way that I would be able to run wires wasn't going to be that easy. So then I started looking at other solutions. And one of the solutions is using your coax cable that's already there in the wall and using a special adapter uh, to basically have a hardwired connection. That's what this box is. Uh, the other things I got was some uh, Cat6 Cat6 cables for the devices I want to get hardwired in a A port uh, gigabit switch. So let's go ahead and open this up since this is the start of the show. And let's see what I get in here. Now this is supposed to be a two pack. And there's two in here. Cool. I was expecting that. But basically what these are, they're special adapters that basically uses your coax cable as a as an internet connection. So instead of using like a long like cat six uh, cable throughout the house, this basically converts the signal to the coaxial and uses the existing wiring for that purpose. So basically that's what the deal with this is. So I'm going to assume it's exactly the same thing in this one here, but you basically get the actual device itself, a network cable, a coaxial cable, and of course the power adapter. And the other one uh, connects on the other end. And basically what you do is just connect it to, say like on the other end, you would basically connect it to your, say, Wi-Fi router, or in my case, a Netgear Orbi. So on the other end, I would connect this up. Now the challenge is basically finding finding the the uh, the actual coaxial cable that I'm going to have to use. So the one in my room currently, it's easy. It's actually right behind my computer, so I'll be able to just connect it there, and that's it. The other end, I'm going to have to do a lot of trial and error and see which one I'm able to use. And from the, from the research I've done, these things are actually, they can actually work really, really well, almost as near in terms of speed and reliability as a proper Cat 5E, Cat 6 cabling in the house. So if it does work as well as I think it should, then I think this is going to be the ideal solution. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this uh, hooked up and see what happens. All right, so I got everything all set up. Downstairs wasn't really that big a, th big a thing. Um, 
the hardest part about this setup or using this kind of equipment is really depending on what kind of setup you have that's wired up in your house is going to depend how long it's going to take. For me, the longest process was actually finding the correct wire. So basically what I did was I found the direct wiring, the, the direct, uh, the actual coaxial cable that ran up here to downstairs. And once I have everything connected, it was just a matter of just plugging everything up and it just connected to each other. So I'm eventually going to clean all this up. But for now, I got this device right here. It's all blinking, all connected. So basically, it uses the coaxial cable as your wiring for your internet. Which is that in a way is actually kind of cool because even though depending on how much you spend on the equipment, it might still be cheaper doing it this way. And based on the speeds I've been getting, not only is faster than, than just going through Wi-Fi, but it's also a lot more reliable. This is probably the closest thing you can get to a hardwire connection to any room in your house without going full uh, Cat 5E or Cat 6 cabling. But yeah, basically, you can, you basically uh, connect the coaxial, which is there, connect it there, give it some power, take the uh, Ethernet cable. And basically what I ended up doing was getting a networking switch, which is right here. And there is, I don't know if, yeah, there's lights there. And uh, there's my switch. And basically, it goes from that device to the uh, network switch. And then from there, my desktop computer, my Xbox, my switch, uh, both of my Atari VCSs are all wired connection now. And um, one thing I've also learned very quickly is the wire connection for the switch, not much difference, to be quite honest with you. I guess the only real benefit with using the hardware connection for the switch is, is you don't really get the Wi-Fi interference issues that you sometimes get. But you're not really going to gain speeds or anything like that. So... So unless you have really, really crappy Wi-Fi, I think with the Switch, you'll be fine just staying on Wi-Fi. But, I mean, I, I bought the cables for it. And, uh, yeah. So let me show you what kind of speed I get now. Because I've been, I've been playing some online games just to try it out. And so far, it's been rock solid, actually. So if I go to network settings, uh, testing the speed. So my download speed is almost 600 megabits per second and my upload is 22.46. And if we go to my computer and go to speed test and just run a quick test. I mean, look how much faster this is now. And on average, I was probably getting between 100 to 150 on most days. And the fact that I'm able to get over 400 in my upload speed is basically, my upload speed, even though it's much lower, it's basically what I'm paying for. So basically my, what I'm paying for for my ISP is 500 down and 20 up. So this is pretty much what, what I'm expecting. So, so yeah. And of course, my latency is at 35 milliseconds, which is, which is good. So, I'm not too concerned with that. At least this way going forward, everything is going to just be a more reliable connection in general. So, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this. So, I'll just say this. If you do have coaxial cables in your house and you're looking for a way to get hardwired connections for your internet, 
this is probably a really good solution to look at. I would, I would actually look into that. So I'll end it here. Like always, have a good one.